Hello guys, my name is Martin and welcome back to Stellaris. Um, I have been playing all day. And I mean it, all day since like 11 o'clock this morning and I was like 9.30. And I'm not tired of it, I want to play more. So that's what we're gonna do. And this is awesome. And I'm not gonna go for the research speed. Although I do want it. Um, I just know that there's going to be a um, fallen empire here and here, and one of them will get really angry. So, what are we going to go for? Quantum destabilizer. Well, this is another thing that you could put on your battleship and really mess up the enemy. We don't have our field manipulation guy anymore though. We have a particles guy. Particles guy could help with that thing. It's kind of old tech. Advanced shields. Well, we did get some uh, some uh, research on the zero point reactor here. We do have a part of this guy, so that could be a thing. So could the barrier point defense, since our I'm guessing that this is a point defense. Yes, it is. It's only nine thousand, but we have a part of this guy, so let's use him, I guess. Plasma cannons, we'd like that as well. We'd like all the things, really. We have about half of the research here. If we do get this one, it's 42 months, but then we put our particles guy in charge. So, comes 39 months. I guess it's not a lot of progress, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of a high level tech, so let's do that. All of these are matching up, which is, is a beautiful thing to see. I do like that when we can swing it. And then you get the um, the rocketry guy, and that'll be okay. All right. So energy is really good. How are our sectors doing? They probably need some minerals if I'm any judge of character. Uh, yes, they do. Especially you guys. You're gonna suck them dry right away, aren't you? Yes, you are. I have two more. Gonna eat those as well. Yeah. How about now? Ah, you're just greedy little bastards. That's what you are. Oh my god, what's he using it on? One of his building science stations everywhere. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it's just... Well, he does have a lot of uh, planets and stuff, but I mean, that's just ridiculous. All right, that'll have to be enough for now. I need some minerals for myself, guys. I mean... Who's building the navy, yeah? Who's maintaining the navy? That's another question. That does require a hundred minerals just in maintenance. And we have completed the construction of a mining station. Good. We have a lot more to go. And rivalries in the galaxy. Just uh, did a little check up. Oh, that's a colony. Okay, thank you. I just did a little check up uh, between videos to see if there were anyone who we could either take one on one or who were willing to ally. And, and it still seems like the people we can take are like these small miners here, here, here. We're just going to generate a lot more threat than what is um, mm -hmm. actually uh, than it than what it's actually worth. Is what I want to say. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna play cool. Our threat level, I suppose, is going down. 
yeah, it's gone from these guys. So they don't consider my any kind of threat anymore. But they do not want to ally. They really, really don't want to ally. That's pretty close. But I give you my star shots. Why can't I give a uh, civilian access? I wonder. Do we already have that? Did I give you civilian access earlier? Yes. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to check. I remember now, that's a long time ago, but I wanted to check if one of these guys... Oh, you don't have to go there. I don't think any of them are down there, but I'm just gonna have a look. Uh, why don't you... Oh my god. Stop it. Just uh, track those that we do not have. There. So, two are up there. One is in here. So, here's a question for you. Well, you kind of hate me. Um, is there any way you'd give me civilian access? Anyway, at all. How about for active sensor links and military access and all the things? No, no. No chance. No chance in hell. New Hell hit me even worse. If I can get access through the Netraxi Empire, I can actually, I can actually jump from here to there, I think, without crossing these guys' space. So... You don't hate me quite as much. So, guys... Um, civilian access. Well... Here's the thing. I kind of want... Because you have two of them. So, how about... How about we lose one of our embassies with these guys? You are at 110. 62. This guy is... Okay. You are a pacifist. You are probably the one least likely to make trouble. I'm going to recall my embassy from you. Send it up here. And then, hopefully, hopefully I'll remember to check it later on, um, to see if I can get some uh, civilian access up there and get those two projects taken care of. It would um, probably give me a lot of science, and I would like to complete that quest chain, regardless. Construction complete. Uh, the space is done. Okay. Yeah, I kind of thought I would build up this space station with um, the uh, synchronized defenses too, since it's going to be on the front. So I'm gonna build it all the way up. Since I assume uh, each level of uh, spaceport will actually increase the defensiveness. What's that? Where are you going? What are you? Oh, it's just a space car. I thought for a second it was these guys because it was kind of brown. Oh. Wait. Uh, negative bat minus 55. Holy shit. Okay, we had that deal with those guys. Yes, we'll need to sort that out. And we already knew that. Huh. Well, we do actually... And we might actually not need to make another deal. 
We can upgrade the hell out of this planet at least. Power plants. All the way around. Is that it? Yes, that's it. You have only a science lab in the queue. So why don't you build yourself a power plant there and one mm -hmm -hmm. there? I have plenty of food. When is the next guy finished? He is on his way. You can pop up there. That's not being worked. That's fine. Uh, you have... Not a lot of power. Well, let's hold off on you then. Another thing we might just check out is... Um, what kind of trade deal can we get? It's a 90% here. So, would you like to give me a monthly transfer of energy, please? You would. Say 50 for... Fifty for 56 is pretty damn reasonable. Um, guess we might as well go for... Oh, 60 you don't want. How about your maximum? That's 52. 52 for 58. That's a solid deal, and I'll take it. Research complete. There you go. Plus 10. Awesome. And research. Ship. Ooh, ship upkeep. So that's another 8. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So these two we want sooner or later. This one I'm not particularly interested in definitely want it at some point. Uh, do we have a guy that can do any of those things? We have a rocketry guy and we have a... we do have a statecraft guy. But no statecraft thing. I have a lot of those biology things. I guess we're just gonna go arctic or arid. Well arctic is pure crap for us. So I guess we go arid. That's 20%. And we can fire engineer a guy, so no worries. And you, with a colony ship, which uh, has probably con been completed for some time, and I've missed it. You are a desert weirdo. Yes. So, who has a desert planet that they want colonized? You do. None of you do. Most of these are continentals. Here's a desert world. Pretty good one too. Twenty. Go ahead and colonize these guys with the desert. Reference. Awesome. So here's not a good as it looks. Uh, here, eh. Here might be best. At least I get two things. Well, here I get two things as well. And better food to begin with. Here I get two mineral things. There's fine. And it'll just get sucked into the sector right away. So we can queue up another colony ship. Uh, yeah, you built an observatory, that's fine. You already leveled up completely. Um, anything else we need here? Maybe not. At least not right now. And you are doing a colony ship on the continental world as well. Good. Mm. Have some tea here. 
and you just completed your cone ship on the content that you want. Right. Check. So you go. Do we want to expand that sector even further? I think maybe up here we can use a little bit more. It's a size 12. It's kind of small, but hey, it's not the size. It's how you use it. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, this is the one. The continental reference. That's a pretty good spot. Right there. Yeah. Pop that down there. It's good. Which means that our continental world needs another corner ship in the queue. Uh, just get this guy. It's fine. And you've done a research station. Uh, that's the construction. Constructor. I guess I should have renamed all of my ships uh, as I built them. Negative balance. So it's gonna pop back and forth between positive and negative and you're gonna beep in my ear every time. Is that how it's going to play? Because I take issue with that. Just saying. Construction complete. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. The spaceport has finished its construction queue. Okay. There's another conch ship. Uh, was it? Was this one? Uh, maybe you just build yourself an observatory. Yeah, those two already have orders. Don't you? Yes, you are moving. And so are you. So what the hell did I just build here? Did I just build them? Sorry, sorry. I guess so. I'm getting old. Um, okay, so I guess you queue up another con ship. There's a weirdo. So this deficit is uh, primarily because of the con ships, but those are going to settle quite quick, like nine months after they arrive. And we are upgrading um, power facilities, power plants, in lots of places. Minerals, carrots, good. At some point in the not too distant future, I do think that we want to uh, upgrade our fleet. We have some tech, I think a power plant and maybe some uh, particle cannons. Um, I guess we queue up more. I think what we need now, we have three battleships, 11, 12 cruisers. Yes, uh, we have a fair number of torpedo boat destroyers. I think we need more of these. I don't want to go all torpedo, because, you know, they may have armor. So give me 10 destroyers, I think. And I guess that would be a little bit silly to do without upgrading them first. Uh, that's the torpedo boat, though. Uh, this one. So you have a kinetic... You get this one instead, which is much stronger. Or you can get that one. Which one's better? 4.7. Well, this does more damage. This is cheaper. This has lower range. Sorry, uh, longer range, but lower accuracy. So which one do you go for? 
We'll have those things for armor penetration and those things for shield penetration, which don't go well together because, well, one would go in and hurt, one would go through the shield and hurt the armor. This one would just attack the, um, the shield, really, and never get through to the armor because the shield would still be there. We need shield depletion, which is this one. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. The thing is, you don't know what you meet, so you can't really plan for something that you don't know what is. Better engines. Nothing. Uh, nothing fancy about that. And with the better engines, I'm oh, sorry, uh, reactors, we actually ended up at positive power. So we'll override that design, and then we'll queue up ten Soruses here. Uh, here you are. Can't make ten quite yet. So make five. And the scientist gained a level, that's nice. So you are neutral. I just wanna just have a quick little look at some things which you don't care about. I'm sure. Uh, research station is done. I mean I'll give you a lot of stuff. Too. And you don't care. You just don't want to give that away because of my uh, your neutral attitude towards me. So you'll be cordial at some point. I don't know when that happens. Yeah. Now our energy is really tanking. So we need to finish this thing. And that thing. Oh, that went directly into the sector. That was that was okay. Uh, but this one, where are you? You are there. So you need to go into the sector as soon as you are done. That's for sure. So where are you now in terms of um, attitude? You are at plus twenty. Which I don't know if it corresponds to neutral. I'm guessing if uh, if Paradox Games and Europa uh, Universalis is anything to go by, uh, it's not going to be a linear relation between these two things. Incoming transmission. Though it's probably related. <laughs> Diplomatic deal. Migration. Ooh. From the Samapox. The Samapox are the big ass uh, pacifists there. I'll definitely agree to that. Because I want to be friendly with you. Why can't I click? There you go. We're friendly. We're friendly. Oh, you are already in an alliance. Can I join your alliance, please? We have mutual threats. We have differing war philosophies. Because you are fanatical pacifist. I mean, the whole damn world has a differing war um, thing with you. So, hmm. the base minus fifty, and then an insane AI I can do nothing about. Relative power of the empires. If I was more powerful, I mean, I could swing it a little bit. I could remove that minus three, maybe get a little bit of plus myself, but it's not entirely likely. How about if I ask your friends the Cyril and Holy Empire? And the Lafrapan Order. 
They are unfriendly. Well, screw you too. I would like to be in alliance with these guys. They are big asses. They also have territory over here, and this is a vassal of theirs, I think. Uh, they have two vassals. Galactic administration. That's to tell combine. Who are those? Um, administration guys. Go to. What's my go to button here? Are you down there? Okay, so these two chunks belong to him. So he's pretty big. I mean, he's almost as big geographically, spatially, as I am, and he is way ahead on tech. How ahead? He's superior, uh, and if we offer him a trade deal, we can see that he has 90 technologies that I do not, <laughs> and I have 10, <laughs> well, 11. Well, several plants native to Sisk in Atap, where we recently established the colony, exude copious amounts of a pollen with an astounding chemical complexity. A special research project has been prepared for further study. Situation log How updated. Interesting. Um, it's a timed project. So, where is it actually? Fall study. Go to. It's there. Now we have a sign ship here. So I guess you can pop out there and uh, have a look. And then go back and assist research. A little roundabout there. Nothing wrong with that. Construction complete. Okay, so we can upgrade. Awesome. Do that. Right away. Ooh, we are getting close to the uh, cap here. Hmm. So, uh, do we want to run some edicts anywhere? Uh, we have the mineral thing going on still. I wonder if it uh, if it removes itself, so to speak, after the ten years, and just reapplies the cost. Yeah. No, no of the other. St oh, you need an edict. Uh, you need the power thing there and I mean you might as well get the production as well it's kind of a waste there but hey we have so much it's 44 get one as well no no so that uh, bought us a lot of time. What's our construction ship doing? You're working on that thing, physics, and then you're gonna come up here, finish with that one. And how many months left here? Three months, two months. Construction complete. Uh, sectors are missing resources. You are missing a uh, special thing, the Telda crystals. Mm -hmm. That's not really my problem. Mm -hmm. Done your cube. Uh, so, 
this is a planetary administration. Why don't you build me a capital? And then you can upgrade the power plant. We need something there. What are we fo focusing on here? It's a desert world. Plenty of food. Guess you just want to go mineral. And if you are going to go mineral, then I kind of guess we should go for droids. Both of those. And then maybe build ourselves a processing plant here. I don't know if the droids working um, get a, a bonus for working a processing plant or only for working in the mineral raw materials. But there you have it. He was already in progress. So it's okay. How is our fleet coming? Yeah. One, two, three. Two more destroyers. Construction complete. Schlork has done. So you have synchronized defenses now. That's nice. No, no, no. Maybe. This will wait. You have one thing in queue, you have a bunch of stuff, and you have a bunch of stuff. So it takes a while. You have completed that construction, good. So we are moving on. We Special project complete. Encroaching a little bit more into their territory. So that's that uh, flower thing. On close examination, the plants native to Sisk in Atap turn out to be rather dull. Some excrete pollen that have mild stimulating effect. And they are likely to have a propensity for rapid genetic change. Hardly impressive enough to warrant adopting a strategic or luxury resource. But we do get some society research, so I guess it was worth some of our time, if not all of it. So this one needs to go into the sector ASAP. Colony established. There you go. So do we want to help them a little bit? Uh, I guess we could clear some of these tiles for you. There you go. Uh, you figure it out what you want to do with that and the southwest sector you get another planet there you go give them some minerals guess so should I give them this station now well, maybe not just now. I'm still at 6 out of 6. I like the idea of having uh, as much control as I can. Well, don't get me wrong. I like this uh, sector system so that I don't have to micromanage simply everything. Because I would if I had the chance. I'm that kind of guy. I, I want to have the, the um, as much... Um, I like to min -max as much as complete. possible. And it's not always particularly fun. A colony there, yes. And you finished your construction queue. Oh, that was another colony. That's why you suddenly dropped. Right. At the desert planet. Check. So this question once more where to put it 
Uh, tropical. So we have a desert planet there. That's one. Down there is Gaia. All of those are continental. So actually we only have one desert world left. So that makes it easy to decide. We are going to settle right here with our desert people. And we are going to go where? Oh, here's actually pretty damn good. How about there? That's almost better since we get two food from the get-go you do that and then just uh, make sure that we don't have any more desert colony ships by the way we do not good all right we still needed uh, I think three destroyers Colony established. Research complete. So there's a colony done, which brought us back on top. Minerals plus five percent. Awesome. Devastator torpedoes. Huh. This guy's pretty old. Yeah. Well, the tech is not there. It's not there. I would like to get some interesting thing while he's still alive. Uh, who else do we have here? We have a statecraft guy. And we have a rocketry guy. So we have two rocketry techs. Cruise assembly yards and battleship assembly yards. Both are nice. Especially the cruise assembly yard. I don't think we'll be building that many battleship, but yeah, 10%, 10%. But I think we will be going for one of these two. So we're not really using the missiles. Let's get the rail gun. It's only 7,000. No, nope, that's material. Well, here's the thing. This is cheaper, but we don't use them. Guess we've got to go for the torpedoes. 70 months. Holy shit. Um, yeah, that took six months off, but it's still horrific. Yeah, I'm not happy. Not happy with that at all. That is a long, long time. But these two, I mean, this one is half the time. How old are you? You're 57. Well... It's five years. See you on the other side. Yeah, at normal speed. How long have we done at normal speed? That was not my intention. Say, uh, sector guys, do you need some energy? No, and you're not getting my minerals. I'm taxing you like crazy now. Research complete. And we need to catch up on all that tech, so I have them on uh, on research focus for a reason. So we can do arid worlds now. So that's a thing. We can uh, do that same thing where we send a guy there and, and genetically modify him. Uh, so this is nice because we will be buying those edicts. So making them 11 years rather than 10 is a thing. And we do have a statecraft guy. The 
Xenomorph Army. Sounds really cool. But we're not charging many people. And we have plenty of naval capacity, so I guess we're gonna go for this one. We're gonna find our statecraft guy here. Pop you in there. It's gonna be three years, more or less. And then you get to work on applied military military theory. Good. Good, 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 good. So four destroyers in queue. Uh, where are my Soruses? Uh, Fifteen and four. So I need um, I need two more. And then I need to upgrade the. Um, the old ones, but we're gonna do that when we are upgrading the whole fleet and what happened? Oh, uh, colony. And we are going to do it uh, uh, after we have that edict turned on, which reduces the upgrade cost and time. Construction better. complete. So, construction is done. Are you having. Well, you have more to do. Uh, spaceport in Phaeton. You are there. So what was my plan here? Oh, yeah, you're just doing colony ships. Because we have a host of... Um, of continental worlds we need to settle. We're just gonna grow taller and taller and taller. This is bleak. Uh, guess we don't have to go straight for the bleak worlds, we can do them last. Here's a nice place. That's very small though. Bit of a bitch. Find me a decent world. Oh my guys to live on. Hey, yeah, okay. It'll do. It will do. And you can pop down there. It's pretty good. Yeah, 50. That's something. Let's get these guys landed and you so one guy vassalized another guy okay abandoned terraforming equipment since our initial settlement of Auric Titan Phaeton several anomalies in the planet's biosphere has been discovered the ecosystem is unstable and has not been developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming project process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be like, though. Awesome. So we have two projects possible. Situation log updated. Uh, not that one. Uh, this one. We can resume the process, or we can dismantle the equipment. It'll cost two hundred science. It'll cost two hundred society. Well, engineering. Uh, where is it? Here. 
that's my continental world. I don't want you to blow it up with some alien crap. I don't want you to change it from desert either. Okay, it's giving uh, minus 20 food as it is. Okay, I guess we can always make another desert planet. We have a bunch of them. Actually, are we finished? We don't have any need for more desert planets. Oh, desert uh, colonists. Okay, screw that. Let's, um, let's uh, resume the process and see what happens. Poof. It'll be one month. Easy peasy. Just, uh... Click on the big red button, turn the lever, see what happens. What, turn of the month? Special project complete. There we go. Uh, two things happened. The aborted terraforming process on Aurek Phaeton has been completed with horrific results. Whatever alien life forms designed the terraform equipment, their physiology was radically different from ours. The planet has been modified to support ammonia-based life, and all of our colonists have suffered gruesome deaths and now toxic atmosphere. Ouch. So, yeah. That sucked. But then again, like I said, I didn't really um, need any more any more uh, desert colonists, so I will survive. Long-term exposure to the pollen naturally occurring in Siskin Atop's atmosphere act on the colonist pheromone receptors with a mild aphrodisiac effect, accompanied by a barely perceptible high. The plant that produces the most potent strain is a flower common to all areas of the planet squirreled away into some obscure taxonomic nook by scientists on Cisco and Atta, but known in the local weirdo dialect as Marin Karen. So they become happy. Uh, sure. That's the first stage. I guess bad things will happen later, but how can bad can they be? <laughs> Oh, it wasn't actually my... Construction complete. Um, my desert planet. There was another desert planet. I thought it was this world blew up. It wasn't. Okay. So, some scientists level up. Good. Mm -hmm. And you finished your surface construction queue. Right. So the name of the game is Power, I guess. Requires a grown pup, yes, I'm aware of that. Apparently it also requires a, a pup to um, to upgrade. So we have enough food. We upgrade those two and that'll be okay. This video has been going on for quite some time, so I'll put a break in here. We are well. We have a whole new class of planets to uh, to colonize fairly soon. Uh, didn't we take that arid world thing? Arctic world. Sixty-five percent. Who has sixty-five percent to live on an Arctic world? Not me, it must be some of my uh, guys, like those guys over there. I don't know. 
but we need to uh, to colonize the Arctic worlds and the arid worlds. Sooner or later, we also have to have a look at that tomb world up there. Maybe just pop in a uh, robot. Here's a question, though: Can you? modify someone to like tomb worlds no that's not a thing but robots can live everywhere so um, they don't need food so I could pop some robots down there and then just populate the whole thing with them with the robots and build mining stations freaking everywhere they would survive and it would claim this territory even more so than it already is right now it's it's based on this um, uh, frontier outpost here which isn't costing me anything but nonetheless it would be nice to wrap that up okay Put a break in here. If you like this video, please go ahead and like, subscribe. Even better, leave a comment, and I'll go ahead and write, uh, read, and uh, reply to those for sure. See you next time. Bye for now.